Listener, I just want to start by saying that my comedy special, my hour-long comedy special is out. It's on my YouTube. Just go over there, watch it. Watching it completely really, really helps. And share with a friend if you like it. Leave a comment. The engagement on this is so important to me. Um, I know I make a lot of content, but this is... God, it's so hard not to be emotional. This is what I've wanted my entire life, and I'm so excited to share it with you. Okay, and now I'm going to get emotional again. We had Jojo Siwa on the pod this week. We have Jojo Siwa, and if you know me, you know I've wanted her for a really long time because she's such an incredible public figure, what she's doing for the queer community through her making entertainment for a younger generation it's unbelievable when you really think about it. But then when I met her and I interviewed her, I learned so much from her. I, I, she is such a poised person. She has a lot of grace and, I, and a lot of maturity. And I was blown away by interviewing her. And she's really funny and it's a phenomenal episode. So this one, this one means a lot to me, both the day that it's falling on and the person that I'm interviewing. Um, Sorry, I'm just emotional. Now, if you're one of JoJo's very young fans, I would say under 16, maybe don't listen to this, okay? But if you're not, if you're a little bit older, this episode is very, very funny. It's about a time where she accidentally butt-dialed her dad during a very private experience, if you know what I'm saying. It's a great story. Um, Maddie does a really great story, too. It's just a really fun episode, and I know you're going to enjoy it. Um, so please listen and then and, and go watch the special. I think you're really going to like it. Listener, this episode is brought to you by Helix. I absolutely love my Helix. I've had one for almost three years now, and it's the best sleep I've ever gotten in my life. And the reason that Helix is so good is it makes a mattress personalized for you. You just go to helixsleep.com and you take their two-minute quiz, and they'll match you with the perfect mattress. Helix is offering up to 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash gay sex. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Listener, this episode is brought to you by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. I've actually been using Honey for a few years now, and it always saves me a ton of money. Whenever I'm doing online shopping, I go and hit that little Honey button, and it usually can save me like 20 bucks off on, you know, a pair of jeans. And it's so easy to use. And you might not know, but Honey doesn't just work on desktops. It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save money on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could straight up be missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash gay. That's joinhoney.com slash gay. My rule is that all phones must be in the same place put away on a table somewhere, okay? Because one time, it's my third night with this partner. It's great. Things are escalating. It's really fun. I'm happy. I'm having the time of my life. Cut to the next day. My dad comes up to me and he's like, so you guys had fun last night? (gasps) No, you can't hear across our room. So I'm like, what? And he was like, last night you called me. (gasps) No! You remind me so much of Allie Belairs. I'm going to butcher the name. We just had her on the podcast. Yeah, you two are the same human. We're very similar. We're very similar. You're like, your tone. Where are you from? I'm from New York. No. Yes. No. <laughs> no, you're Where from the you? Midwest. No, I'm, this, is what, <laughs> this is what people say to me all the f-ing time, but usually it's straight people who don't understand oh, no. that a woman can be gay you're and like, not a, a farmhand. Yeah, you look like you're from Ohio. <laughs> and you're like, no, I'm eating pussy in Brooklyn. It's very different. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. I'm like so excited. You look just so outrageously gay. Thank you. I'm honored. I had this whole plan. I did my hair yesterday and I like looked like Olivia Newton-John and I was so feminine and I was so into it. Like I was feeling it and I was like, I'm going to do it for the podcast tomorrow too. I'm going to feel it. I'm going to be feminine. Then all of a sudden I get up to my room to get ready and I was like, no, I'm not feeling it anymore. So I literally, I was like, all right, what do I want to wear? And I was like, rainbow. What do I want to do up here? Hat. 
backwards. Well, you're cosplaying as me, but like new age Thank me. You. I'm feeling like I really have never felt so old in my life. <laughs> I like you're not. Let me, let me see this. Okay. It's just work. Like, yeah. Oh, it. live fast, eat ass. I love it. Oh, thank, thank you. Are you eating at? You look like a cherub. <laughs> I literally feel like I turned to a baby angel and was like, are you eating ass? <laughs> Little winged creature. <laughs> I mean, no. I, it, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you gotta try everything you have to try everything well, we should we should say too i'm for the dynamic of the podcast i have never i'm a gay virgin. i was ready for you to say you're straight <laughs> <laughs> like, are you sure <laughs> yeah, just you so you know wanna... on the podcast i'm not like cool with all of this <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know how usually on a podcast you'll have like different characters well yeah. i'm the gay one and she's the homophobe so i'm bi and i'm and i'm non-binary but i have not I'm probably the least experienced person here. We're uh, they're a gay virgin, so <laughs> okay. we're yeah. trying to we're trying to you okay. know help yeah. Maddie get some pussy <laughs> through this process. How long are you in California till tomorrow? We're on a clock. Yeah. Let's go to WeHo. <laughs> I would. We're in WeHo. Let's go to Rocco's. <laughs> What's Rocco's? I don't know. I'm New York gay. I'm also ancient <gasps> JoJo. This is JoJo Siwa. I haven't said it yet. JoJo Siwa is on my fucking podcast. <laughs> when I tell you that when I sat down, when I started this podcast, okay, I was like, these are my, these are the guests that I know that I've like done something if I have them. And you were one of them. I was one of them. Yeah. You were like my white whale <laughs> in Thank a you. gay Ahab Thank you. sort of Moby Dick remake. <laughs> I'm honored. Moby Dyke. You <laughs> are like, I'm Moby my Dyke. white whale. I am so honored. Uh, the second that I got the text about it, I was like, uh, sign me up. Why not? Let's freaking do it. And now we're here. We're here. We're we're in the hotel room. We're having gay sex. We're having gay sex with Jojo Siwa. Thank you for tuning oh in. If you're just here for Jojo, listen. Okay. If you're under the age of 14, <laughs> 15, 16, 17, 18. Listen, 18, 18, 18 if you're under the age 18. of 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not I, a made I, for I children young. program. Listen, yeah. kid, you're going to learn a lot. All right. <laughs> if you are under the age I'm of an ancient dyke. <laughs> and you're going to learn a lot today. Stick around. We have all uh, of our favorite celebrities and we talk about gay sex and it feels like you're hanging out with your queer friends that you never had. And you don't have to be gay to be here. It's just a great way to feel like, oh, I know what to say to my gay friends now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and have, yeah. A, have a good time. So thank you. How to come communicate with gay people how did <laughs> believe it or not it is a task like like okay it's not a task it's a skill it it's a skill. skill it's a requirement i don't know what it is one of one of my i i have a i have a girl you're group. phenomenal thank you you're pheno you're really funny thank you should i, I go into whenever, comedy whenever what's that should i go into comedy i mean i think comedians would want to kill you if you did <laughs> they would but you're you're very funny thank you i was not sure what i would you know i have all different types of people on the podcast i never know what i'm gonna get but she, she's very quick thank you're you amazing. yeah I'm well i'm sure by now too you're so like used to being a public person that it must just yeah. be second nature i am i'm it's kind of all i know I've been in the limelight. I did my first TV show when I was nine, and it was a very Damn. successful TV show. And so it's been a very what was that? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> it's, it's been. A, it's no, what been, TV show were you? Were you? No, I'm messing around. Dan, well, the first show is Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, and then I moved on and did Dance Moms when I was uh, eleven. Uh, so it's been it's been a cute ten years. But it's been <laughs> all I know. Like, think right. about when you were eight. You don't really remember anything. Yeah, no. and I don't really remember much till I was like 16, really. And so it's like all I know. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and I remember I, I, I watched that show. Yes, and I rem yes. And oh, I remember yes. texting with my sister, who is your biggest fan, I think. Thank you. My sister's 30. What? I was gonna ask, is she a young man or an old man? Okay, 30. Got Your it. sister's gonna Got have it. to fight my seven year old cousin. Got it. Yeah, yeah. And she'll fucking win. <laughs> that soft little piece of shit. Um, but, but we used to, now it was weird because you were a child. Yeah. But me and my sister were like, I think that kid might be gay. <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> she was. She is. I have the. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. No, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, like, if you go back and watch stuff from when I was young, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. That clip you posted of you looking at. at uh, Kalani. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. Yep. So yep. funny. Yeah. So gay. And, like, 
zero zero attraction to Kalani like that. She's like literally my best friend. No, but friend. like if something really nice pops up in front of you, you you're just gonna, you gotta you give you it gotta a little, little light. zoom in, zoom out. With your <laughs> eyes. Yeah, just a little <laughs> weird, weird, weird. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool up and down. But it's so funny to look back at something like that too. Like I was like, I don't. I was like, I don't, I don't know that I always knew I was queer. There's a picture of me sitting in the middle of the road like this yep. in middle school with <laughs> yep. a plaid yep. short sleeve shirt rolled up to my shoulders yep. and a backwards hat. And I was like, yep. hunting for a boyfriend. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like insane when you look back at that stuff and you're yep. like, oh, obviously. Yeah, you showed, yeah. we should actually pull up some of your photos from you and all your different I gay would faces. I would love to see you as a child. <laughs> there are so many different gay phases. Now, I, I haven't had a lot of gay phases. I've been basically this person just like a, your whole life. Yeah. When a did you know you were version. gay? Oh my God. I knew I was gay from a very young age. Yeah. And I was just suppressing it. Of course. For so, so long. I was hoping I would end up by. I think I probably had my first active gay crush on a girl and knew to hide it from my family, like at the age of eight. Whoa. Yeah. So I can't believe I've never talked about that. Yeah, on good the for pod. you. Stephanie. Oof. Oof. Hot and heavy. Stephanie. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's it's it's that, not a hot that, name. No. But, <laughs> <laughs> that's a heavy one. Yeah. Stephanie. But I would like I like fantasize. I would come yeah. like get home and like yeah, think about like hanging out with <laughs> Stephanie. But it was so platonic and <laughs> they got it. They got it. You didn't catch um, it. Oh, it's either she or they, right? You're fine. Yeah, she or she they. Is they right. Right. We should introduce ourselves. I'm Ashley Gavin. I'm a comedian. I think my special might be out or it's coming out in the next week. So Please, for the love of God, uh, where can we watch it? YouTube. It's coming out on here. So Word. you just need to hit subscribe, you little piece of shit, <laughs> um, and turn on the notifications. And I'll uh, text you when I'm in your city. I'm on tour. The tour is massive. Yep. Are you going to be here? I am going to be here. When? I'm coming. Probably at the end of the year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I will be your first <laughs> ticket sale. I will buy it. Okay. Immediately. Okay. It'll probably be at the end of the year. I'm doing my first ever theater tour. So, Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Do yeah. you know where here you're performing? I don't, I, I don't know where it will be here. I know I'm doing, I know a couple of them, but yeah. I don't know all of them. It's okay. So count me in. Maybe, thank you. I'll, I'll, I will never leave you alone. Do you roast people alone. when you do comedy? Have you not seen my TikToks? No, I haven't. I'm sorry. I'm uneducated. She's very roasty. Yeah. Go. I <laughs> <laughs> It. <laughs> it doesn't, there's nothing else needed. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm clearly straight, clearly dressed straight. Um, but anyway, she, her pronouns, cis gay white woman. And then, as always, the hall monitor to keep me from getting canceled. <laughs> I, I was so excited about this. This day has just been such a magical day for me. You're the Aww. cherry on top of my ice cream sundae of a day. So, so I, I don't have a roasty intro for you today, but maybe wow, I need to show Wow, and the Grinch's off. heart grew three <laughs> sizes that day. My strap through grew three <laughs> sizes that day. I'm Maddie, Maddie Wiener. Wiener. She, they pronouns. Uh, I'm also a stand-up comedian. I got a YouTube. I got Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, Maddie T. Wiener. I'm posting stand-up clips. Uh, I have a taping coming out soon that I'm very excited about. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that when it comes out. And, and you should. And, and may I say the name of it? I don't think they're going to care. I don't think so. If it, if it, if we might edit it out, but no, it, it's it's don't tell comedy. And you should go and follow them. They tape my special. They're phenomenal. Really, really good at what they do. Yeah, they're incredible. I'm just having a realization. I have seen your. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank I you. so have. There's no. I was like, this bitch has. If she is on you TikTok just got at all. So much fucking cooler to me now that I just like put together who. I, I'm like, I like can literally hear and see your videos in my head right now. And now I'm like, Jojo, that's who you're sitting by. Get your shit together. <laughs> Thank Got you. it. Got I feel it. so much better yes. now. Jojo okay, saw you bully me and was like, oh, that's who it is. <laughs> yeah. No. It, it took a second. It took, she's she a heard me yell f it and was like, oh, oh that's oh. ringing a bell. That's ringing a bell. Yes. Okay. It took me a second to get there, but we're here. We're alive. We're thriving. Yes. Um, <laughs> would you mind introducing yourself to the- Yes. The, the, the world. Not a single- No one scrolling through being like, who's this? And you know what? Sometimes there's- there, You'd be surprised. A lot of people these days really people enjoy days. humbling me. Oh, like, the nagging is out of control. It's so funny. And like, like for example, I was just, I'm going to introduce myself in a second. 
Let me get this over with. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jojo. My last name is Siwa. I am. They all. They all said like what you do. I. You exist. Exist. <laughs> I sing. I You're just you dance. I TikTok. I live. I do that. I have a lot of merchandise. It's a lot of things. Um. And uh, <laughs> yeah, she her. Yeah, let's plug JoJo's merch. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, back to what I was saying. Like, I was on this cruise, right? And I think a lot of people know about the cruise, and I'll I'll, <laughs> that is I'll true. leave it at that. Yeah, just, just wait. I actually don't. I'm so sorry. This is not me trying to humble you. I just don't know about the cruise. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, so I was on this cruise, and this guy comes up to me, and he's very clearly he knows who I am. Like, it's very obvious, okay? And if it wasn't obvious enough, he asked me for a picture the day before. And I remembered <laughs> him. How I remembered him? Because he was very gay. He was very flamboyant. And like, I remembered him, okay? He sounds annoying. <laughs> comes up to me the next day. And like, I had made some friends on this cruise. And he comes up to me. And he's like, oh, hi, I'm, we'll make up a name. Alex, what's your name? And I was just like, he Emily. Didn't, he didn't get with her. <laughs> like, I, if you're going to play the game, so am I. <laughs> yeah, and then like two days into the cruise that, like two days after that, he was like, you're Jojo Siwa, aren't you? And I was like, yeah, no shit. Like he had we, a whole you fucking and I, plan. He had a plan to like yeah. be cool. And I was like, oh, this is You know like, what's actually cool when, and I have nowhere near your level, but when someone just is like very honest and is like, and hey, I'm nervous yeah. and I love your stuff. Absolutely. You know how nice that is just it feels to hear so that? Good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And like, listen, people don't know who I am and I'm down. Like, I don't think everybody, like, no, not at all. But like when it's so obvious that somebody does, like just. When it's a it. gay person. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're you gonna know. What know. I mean? it's, it's just some people, a five year old little girl with a bow in her head, she knows. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, a yeah. Christian so knows she, who Mary Magdalene is. You it, know your culture. You just you know? know your culture. Yeah. Oh, I wish yeah. we had the air horn. I would air horn that so hard. <laughs> yeah. uh, before we jump into the gay sex, I found out from a friend of yours that you would ask her for some gay sex tips. I did. I did. Is that okay to talk about? Yeah. So I just want to let you know that I'm. Almost. How old are you? Nineteen. This is insane. I'm almost twice. I'm thirty five. Okay. Yeah, and I'm twenty four. Yeah. So nice little bridge. I am a enormous slut. I I I <laughs> have it. seen it all. Yeah. And so if you if you're needing them, <laughs> I can give you, you the can sex give me talk the help? today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just letting you know. You know. I've never had the sex talk. What? Uh. Uh-uh, never. I was homeschooled, so I just kind oh of like God. grew up like educated but not like ever had like the like moment where i got the talk you never had a gym teacher sit you down you and never be had like, a lesbian sit you down hey, I, know. <laughs> I need lesbian 101 like take me to the basics yeah no i did i did because this friend and her partner and then me and at the time my partner our partners had a lot of the same interests but I have sexually yeah like they oh, liked okay. the same stuff i was stuff. not expecting this <laughs> I was not expecting that. They like the that. same stuff. Tennis. But <laughs> they love tennis. They love to play tennis. No. Um, but I had never like been in that position where like I've never I've 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 really only had two sexual experiences. I had one, and if we're gonna talk about a gay sex experience, that's actually probably the one I will talk about because it's awful. Um, but it's hilarious. It's really funny, but I had never been put in the position where I was, all right, we're going to be honest. If you have listened to Boomerang or Kid in a Candy Store or D-R-E-A-M or any of my kids' music in the last week, leave now. <laughs> but I've never been asked, like, <laughs> I, 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 sorry, I had never topped, essentially. Uh-huh. And I knew what I liked. But I had never done what I liked to somebody else, if that makes sense. Right. And so I asked this friend, I was like, how do you, like, not how do you do it, but like, got any advice? Right. Because it's more of a psychological thing. Yeah. You really have to amp yourself up to do it. Yeah. And look, it's not for everyone, Jojo. No. Not all like, of us have the power inside of us. No, it's hard. Yeah. To, to switch. Hard. To switch. Because bottoming mm. takes power as well. I, yeah. Yeah. Bottoming takes a, a zen flow-like state. Yeah. <laughs> you have yeah. to be able to let go. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, I mean, hey, I've been, that's, you're bottoming all the time. Right. Yeah. 
And like for me, I'm very much so some days I'm feminine, some days I'm masculine. If I'm to be with a feminine girl, I would feel like it would be right for me to top. But if I'm with a more masculine girl, not to be like, if you're masculine, no, of but course. Like, you know I, what I mean? But if I'm with a masculine girl, like I feel I didn't know how to this, this, this. I did not know how to be a dom femme. Right, mm, right. I did not know how to be a dom femme. And that's and what this, this partner friend did. Wa- so I was like, how do I be a dom femme? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we might we might have to keep that look and, and take your name out of the podcast, dude. Because I feel I, I feel like I You're learning something you didn't know. I feel like I I can't look at you anymore. Because my whole thing is I I <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. We have a we have a feminine the blazer, a feminine blazer in the room who, <laughs> who whose sex life cannot be exposed to me. <laughs> You're covering yourself like bird box, like <laughs> <laughs> it is bird box. <laughs> I was trying so hard to be so considerate, <laughs> and I fucking blew it so hard. It's okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. I'm <laughs> I just, yes. I really want, that's so funny. It's funny to me because the person that we're talking about who's in the room <laughs> has such a different energy than you. Yeah. And I'm actually, I don't, and what you were saying before about these things don't have to align with gender, obviously, of like course. femme for femme, mass for mass, the whole fucking thing. That being said, I understand the urge because uh, like when I, I used to fuck a lot of straight women, dude. <laughs> Get it. And thank you. <laughs> I don't need to anymore because thanks to the pandemic, there are none left. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> They're all by now. But like They're that- all doing your podcast. Hello. How do you think I got here? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. But like I, I felt that with, with straight girls, I really butched up. Yeah. Because I wanted to I feel like it I, just felt more comfortable and it felt like, like what they knew. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you want to bring an energy that maybe isn't in the relationship. And if that's not yep. true to your relationship, that's like totally that's okay. fine. So interesting because yeah. I almost feel the opposite impulse where I'm with guys. I almost feel like I can present a little more masculine because I feel really? like I will default yes. still be the more feminine person. So I don't feel insecure yeah. about not being feminine. That makes total sense. Because I can be masculine around them and still feel feminine by comparison. Yeah, that and makes like, sense. Yeah. And when I'm in a super loving long-term relationship, I have a way easier time being like femme it almost feels Mm, like really vulnerable yeah yeah oh my god i have so much to learn (laughs) (laughs) so much to learn but let's get into the gay sex i'll keep mine on the short side because we might be doing some gay sex education with you yes please My comedy special, my hour-long comedy special is out. It's on my YouTube. Just go over there, watch it. Watching it completely really, really helps. And share with a friend if you like it. Leave a comment. Go watch my special. Get some friends over. Turn it on every phone. Turn it on every computer. Break into your straight neighbor's house. Ruin their algorithm by watching the special. It's nine years of my of my work culminated to this point if you love this podcast this honestly the special is way funnier i'm sorry i'm just gonna say that it's just way funnier it would mean a lot to me if you watched it it's free it's on youtube but thanks guys thank you for your support it was made possible by our patreon patreon.com slash whgs but mostly my fucking special is on youtube go watch it you piece of shit i will say i have a girlfriend i'm in an open relationship uh, I love her very much. It's super cool. Yeah. It was Valentine's Day recently. So I got like a nice hotel room and we did a staycation. Yeah. Which was super cool. And I picked the hotel room primarily because there were lots of places to fuck in it. <laughs> hey, get what you get. Do you know, thing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it had a hammock. Oh my God. I was like, Fork. you got a finger in a hammock. She's crazy. <laughs> You know, it's just one night I splurged. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And we went to dinner together and we watched yeah, the sunset. Thank God you took it to dinner before. <laughs> oh, it was after. <laughs> okay. Um, but we could see the Statue of Liberty. Always fun to fuck in front of the Statue of Liberty. Never done it. 
Oh, God you should. I, troops. <laughs> where's the craziest yes, place? God, God bless those gay troops. <laughs> where's the craziest place you've had sex? Craziest place I've had sex. That's a question. Yeah, it's probably. God, this is so embarrassing. Probably well, an alleyway. Get that it. that was just an a, alleyway. So there, that's where <laughs> rats dangerous. fuck. What is wrong with you? That's where rats fuck over like an old piece of pizza. <laughs> they fuck over it or they fuck over it. <laughs> Both. <laughs> you know what I mean? Both. Asserting oh, dominance yeah. to get the pizza. <laughs> yes. So there was the alleyway. That was a quick fingering. Oh, nice. oh, the library in college. Oh, oh my, my God. God. In one of the study rooms. Okay. Portrait of a lady on fire much? Oh, next to the Shakespeare? (laughs) (laughs) Very gay. The gayest place I've had sex was between two lines of prose. (laughs) Fuck off. It was inside a poetry book. Yeah. (laughs) A book of poems. But I, uh, we had a lot of sex and um, I got kind of a, I don't know if you had sleepy sex. Mm-hmm. That's actually good if you're going to talk about sleepy sex because that's kind of what I'm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's kind Sometimes of where I'm going to go I with li- that. I like sleepy sex because you can get you into like a trance like mode. <laughs> uh-huh. Have you been in the trance like mode? Sure. Yeah. It gets you into a trance like mode and then it's sort of like its own experience. And I don't drink or do dog- drugs or anything, yeah. but it feels but like. Sometimes it's- you get a little sleepy. Yeah, but she yeah. gets crazy, yeah. folks. <laughs> do you ever like. Are you ever like. Wait, is it hap- Is this really happening? Yeah, exactly. Or, no, yeah. it's not happening. It's Wait, borderline. What's happening? Yeah, am I awake? Am I dreaming? Yeah, yeah it's like, like in and out. Borderline, a like a dream experience. Yes. And during the sex, and I love, I love this woman with all my heart because I did this and she did not. She, we just laughed together afterwards. I grabbed her boob <laughs> in the trance-like state, <laughs> and I hope I can get the tone out correctly. But yeah, I said, does. I said, booby. <laughs> <laughs> I just grabbed her boob and in total 12 year old adolescent boy yep. mode, I went booby. <laughs> <laughs> just word association. I can hear it too. It's like that deep voice where you're like half awake. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And I was just so stoked. Just what you wanted. To have her boob in my hand. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that I think that'll be my... That's Gay adorable. Sex from this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we're a having good one. A, we're having a great time. And yeah. That's my gay section of this week. Listener, how can you be up all night banging if you didn't get a good night's sleep the night before? Well, I did, because I'm sleeping on a Helix mattress. I absolutely love my Helix. I've had one for almost three years now, and it's the best sleep I've ever gotten in my life. And the reason that Helix is so good is it makes a mattress personalized for you. Yeah, you just go to helixsleep.com and you take their two-minute quiz, and they'll match you with the perfect mattress. And if you're worried, because a mattress is a big decision, they offer a 100-night trial, so you can test it out and see how you like it. But I know that you will. And then on top of it, they have a 10- to 15-year warranty. So you don't need to feel nervous about getting a Helix mattress. You know, you can, you can rest assured that it's going to be perfect for you. And even if it's not, you can send it right back. And right now, Helix is offering up to 20% off all mattresses and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash gaysex. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Listener, today's episode is brought to you by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. You know, I I have been on some skeevy websites trying to find a discount, and that's why I love Honey. When I found the Honey app, I was blown away by how easy it was. I didn't have to go searching around for discounts. I just clicked the button, and then I saved a bunch of money. If you don't know, Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies them automatically and gives you the best one and pops it into your cart. I've been using Honey for years. I've used it on clothing. I've used it on electronics. No matter what you're looking for, Honey can save you some cash. Maybe you need to get something for your partner's birthday. Maybe you're in a polycule and you have a couple birthdays coming up. No matter what you're looking for, Honey can save you money on it. And it's so, so easy to use. It's literally just a click of a button, you guys. I'm not sure if you know this, but Honey doesn't just work on desktops. It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could straight up be missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash gay. 
That's joinhoney.com slash gay. Jojo Siwa, <laughs> did you have gay sex this week? <sighs> no. I have not I have not done the deed in a very long time. Okay. I Is that frustrating for you? Um I enjoy it, but I enjoy it if I have someone to enjoy it with. Mm. You know what I mean? And so like I have no shame in having a good time by myself. You sure. know what I mean? So like I'm down I'm down for a good time alone, but no, I yeah, it's been a, it's been a minute. I do miss like human to human connection a lot. <laughs> I really no do. It's yeah. <laughs> I'm in like that phase of life where I crave it. Like I'm like that. That, that you age. mean you mean life? Yeah. Also I think that that, that it, I think that's yeah. pretty characteristic of the human experience. It is just being a human. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I don't I don't have a gay sex story from this week, but I do have. Yes, you can tell from any period from of time. In any your life. period of life. Okay. I have. I have two. I have one that I'm going to get through really quick, and then I'm going to tell you about a rule that I have now because of another one. Oh my god. Um. I love one, dating rules. Because oh. you know so, you know what hurts somebody. Yeah. <laughs> when you hear a dating rule, you know there's a horrible you know that experience like, You don't get to it. wear flippers to bed. You're like, what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> and why? Yeah, no, it's, it's about as bad as that can be, but it's good. Um, okay, story number one is very simple. Things are getting spicy with this girl. Um, she, she started Is to, it a hookup or like a girlfriend? Um, or do you want to keep it anonymous? Decline. Um, it was a, it was, it was, it was, it was. <laughs> what, a, let's just say it was a person. It was a person. Yeah. yeah it was you, a person. Another human. I would. Yeah. It was, it was another human. Um, we. Thank God. <laughs> well, yeah. Speaking of the flippers. <laughs> the, it, I have really bad experience with sleepy sex because of this. Sleepy sex is fun. But not if they fall asleep in the middle of it. And then you're just like stuck there. They're going down on you. And falls asleep. And you're just like. Then I, I guess, like dead asleep on me. I actually think that is if someone is going to fall asleep during sex. That's the optimal configuration. For them. For, for, <laughs> for them. But at least you're just lying there and it has nothing to do with your performance. That is true. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Like my, I didn't, I, yeah. yeah. Right. If they fall asleep while you're going down yeah. on them, you're like, how bad and, was it? But mm. I could see if it was like 10 minutes in. I'm talking, it was max 20 seconds in. They had to have been. <laughs> like they were, they were, they were sleepy, tapped out. Um, okay, that's my, that's my quick boring story. <laughs> that's so funny. This, they had to have been a little tipsy or something. No. Fully sober. Hard. hard day. I won't do drunk sex. Oh, okay. Because I don't drink at all. Oh, yeah, you don't same. drink either. I don't drink at don't, all. Wow. Really? All of us don't drink. <gasps> yeah, none of us drink. Yeah. Work. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't drink. She's a was at work on the podcast. What? Nothing. I'm just, I'm. She was excited that you said work on the podcast. Yeah, you just said <laughs> work. I'm All so old. I don't say work. Really? No, you need when to. When I say work, it's. It's like, ugh, it's work. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Work. Um, yeah, no, I don't do it because I just. I only want to do things when people are fully willing to do them. Of course, you know what of I mean? course. And that's yeah. like, it's just like yeah. a small little thingy that I have. Anyways, my rule. My rule is that all phones must be in the same place, put away on a table somewhere. Okay. Because one time my partner at the time. In general or for just sexy time? Just for sexy time. Okay. Just for sexy time, me and whoever phone, where, where's your, before anything happens, where's your phone? Even if we're just like about to watch a movie. Where's your phone? Because if things start heating up, put them on the... Th- Anyways, so we put our phones aside. I cannot wait to hear where this This rule from. was created for a specific reason. So it's mm, like mm, my third night with this partner, okay? And it's great. Things are escalating. It's really fun. I'm happy. I'm having the time of my life. I'm obsessed. I love it. Whatever. Cut to the next day. My dad. No! <laughs> no! 
No! Comes up to me and my goes. My dad is dead. <laughs> if there were a way to call my dad during sex to exercise him back from the grave, I still would not have yeah. that happen. Ash's rule is Ouija boards on the nightstand. Nobody touch him. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh when you said your dad was dead. No, no, no. It just, <laughs> is, it just is where you He's went. so dead. He's very dead. I'm you so don't sorry. have to. No, please. He's a tree. It's, it's, we're good. I love a tree. No, he's not actually a tree. <laughs> oh, he's not it's a tree. It's just a bit to make you feel more uncomfortable, okay, more but in this case, <laughs> uncomfortable. Got it. Thank we're you. good. We're good. So my dad comes up to me and he's like, so you guys had fun last night. <laughs> and my parents are very supportive. They're very supportive. <laughs> They're too supportive. <laughs> too supportive. It's way too supportive. And I was like, you know, it's my dad. Like, I have a lot of my dad in me. Like, so we, we, we do. We do. We're, I'm very comfortable with my parents. I'm pretty open with no them. No one's that comfortable. But not that comfortable. Yeah. And how I did was it, like, oh. how did it happen? Well, I was like, oh, ha, ha, ha. Like, stop. Like, I'm not telling you. Like, whatever. And then he goes, oh, no, I hurt. <gasps> and I was like. We were not loud. Like, and my, my house, like, our rooms are far apart. Like, you cannot hear. I can scream. Mom, Dad. Oh, you're, in, won't you're hear me. in your my house. Your yeah. house with your parents. With my parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they live with you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and so, like, you can't hear across our room. So I'm like, what? And he was like, last night you called me. <gasps> and I answered to make sure, like, you were good. And after about five seconds, I realized that you were having sex and I hung up the phone so fast. Oh, okay. So fast. No. Okay. Okay. I think- okay. Uh, Cause it did sound like for a second there, he may have been hanging out on the line. Oh God, no, <laughs> God, no, no, like, no, no, no. Like no, your no. sex was the elevator music and he was and trying he was to, like, he was on the whole. No, he was, and I was like, what the fuck? So then I looked at my, my calls and it literally is like, Dad A Siwa, I have my parents in his dad A mommy, so that way they're on the top. Dad A Siwa, outgoing call, like three seconds. Oh my long. god. He thinks you're in trouble and he picks up the call and he's like, She's drowning. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, she kind of is. <laughs> but <laughs> that's mortifying, dude, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does it sound like JoJo's only breathing out of one nostril? <laughs> so now I have a rule that no matter what phones are away because I butt dialed my dad. That is oh such a well you God. really butt dialed him. No, like literally you butt dialed him. <laughs> you fuck butt or dialed him. Dialed yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my that's my that's one of my fun ones. Oh my God. That is mortifying. Is he yeah. okay? Yeah, he's he was more like I just had to hang up. He was like I could not <laughs> hang up fast enough. And yeah. like I told my parents the first time I had sex with a girl, like I told my parents, like they know they know everything about my life. Um, <laughs> that's so cool. That they're so supportive, though. Like genuinely, that's so really supportive. awesome. So supportive. And their thing is like, they they trust me as long as I'm responsible with things, which I try to be, and I always have been, and I always will be. Um, but like, we just have such a great trust with each other that they're they're the best. That's so cool. That's really sweet. It's special. Was Thank the you. coming out process like? It's fucking awesome. It was so easy for me to come out to my parents. I'm very lucky. They made it easy on me um because i okay so i i fell in love for the first time it was with a girl and i was with my entire family and so we were on a family vacation together this friend at the time ended up coming it was only my second time ever meeting her we met on a cruise ship and so much is happening for you so on cruise much, ships. On, so <laughs> much. or involving cruise ships <laughs> <laughs> so then we, uh, we were in Disney and I knew that this friend was gay and I was straight and she was the first girl. Were you out to like, yourself? No. Um, but then I realized like when I saw her, I was like, oh shit. Like I kind of like, 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 like I feel funny. Like, like this doesn't feel like. Feels like I should butt tile my dad. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but it felt like this isn't a friend. Like this feels like right. more like we would take like funny pictures, like recreating my brother and his girlfriend. And like, I liked it. And I'd be yeah. like, oh, let's, let's, we would say like, let's play Jaden and Abby. And then we'd like hold hands and do what they did. Like, cause they oh. were a couple, but we were only friends. And then she finally asked me, she was like, do you have a crush on anyone? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, is it a girl or a boy? And it was the first time I ever said out loud a girl. And she was How like, old were you? I was 17. And so she was like, oh, shit. So, like, you are gay. And I was like, well, like, a little bit. Like, yeah. <laughs> and she was like, okay, who is it? And I was like, oh, I'm not telling you. So then I didn't tell her for, like, four or five days. And then finally I told her. 
And then I, I was like, it's you. Like, and then she said that she liked me. And then we didn't do anything. And then the next night I kissed her. She kissed me um, for the first time. And it was the first time I'd ever kissed a girl. It was the first time I'd ever like made out with somebody. I'd only ever kissed two boys. And like, I thought a two second kiss was like, whoa, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa, might get pregnant. Like that's what <laughs> I thought when it was literally like, yeah, that's it. You know what I mean? Watching Disney movies. Like, and so it was like my first time making out. My parents like had suspicions, but I was like, haha, no, like I would always shut them down. And then that next morning, I swear the story is almost over. No, no, no. That I- next morning I woke up and I was like, fuck, like we didn't even really sleep we slept for like an hour, but we only kissed and it was just a really nice, sweet night. And then I was like, "Uh oh, like I like her. I'm in love with her. Like I'm <laughs> gay. Like there's so much happening right now. So then whatever, I walked her to her car. We were leaving that day. So I walked her to her car because she was driving back home. And I walked back into, we had a big Sprinter van. And my mom literally was like, you really like her, don't you? Because I was like sobbing. Oh. And, my, and I was like, mm-hmm. and my mom was like, as a friend or as more than a friend? And I was like, more than a friend. And she was like, my mom goes, I figured. And that was that. And then my dad was like, awesome. So you can get pregnant. <laughs> and then my dad bought a like pride mug at the airport. And a, oh. like love it. It was like love is universal t-shirts from Universal. Like <laughs> from Universal, universal Studios. Yes, like the most that's like so obnoxiously supportive you can be. That's that. Um that's but I mean yeah, they made it just super like, yeah. It's so crazy. They said just, they always knew. Yeah, but like my mom always knew and, and credit to my mom for coming around, but it is it's just rapidly changing. Yeah. It makes like, me like want to cry too that it was like a positive, not only was it not negative, but that it sounds like it was like a fun thing to tell yeah, people. Yeah. Like and I was scared because I had been scared to tell him that I liked a boy. You know what I right, mean? Like right. I was scared to tell him that I that he asked me to be his boyfriend. Like I was scared of that much less like, I kissed a girl like it yeah. felt like I was doing something dirty and wrong when I wasn't. I mean, I was doing a 17 year old was kissing a 17 year old is great. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> we celebrate that yeah. here <laughs> on the we're having gay sex podcast. We, yeah, we absolutely do. celebrate two 17 year olds <laughs> kissing each other. But uh, yeah, no, they they made it a super. I am not alone. No, no, no. <laughs> no let, me, okay. let me take. Okay. You want one more? No, no, no. I don't. I actually uh, really we're don't. Gay I sex really don't. Podcast, the I really don't. Official stance. I'm good. No. Right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, they made it super great. And then to the rest of my family, I called them and played. I kissed a girl and stood there and oh. smiled. And then they all were like, no way, because they knew like the tension was. You yeah, could yeah, cut yeah. it with a fucking knife. Like it was just right there. And then I ended up coming out to the world by accident. Um, I the Pride House. I don't know if you guys know the Pride House, but they've been my friends since I was like eight. Oh, the podcast. I they might have a podcast. They're like TikTok. Group. What are their names? Molly Gray. Yes. Jekka, yeah, Kent. she yeah. she follows me. I should yeah. have her on my podcast. Oh my god, you should. She's this is my podcast. <laughs> we should have her on this. I can connect you guys. She's yeah, yeah. freaking amazing. It. They're all amazing. Um. Anyways, so they came over, and I've been friends with them since before I was famous. Like I've known them for forever from the dance world. And they did a TikTok with me to the song, Ain't It Fun, Ain't It Fun, Ain't It Fun, Baby, Now You're One of Us. And I was in it with them and it was just like a trend. And everyone was like, holy shit, does this mean JoJo's gay? And well, you have such gay energy. Anything you do, energy. like you're going to eat a burrito and they're going to be like, she's like, not eating oh my that God, right. She's not straight. <laughs> she's no, literally. not straight. Yeah. And um, I didn't tell the pride. I didn't tell Molly and them that I was gay. They didn't know. And so then they posted it, got all the feedback. And Molly was like, do you want us to delete it? Like, I'm sorry, the speculation. And I was like, no, it's true. I just kind of got to figure out what I'm going to do now. Um, and she was so excited, so celebratory, but it was like a week old at the time. And then I posted a video to Born This Way, kind of confirming it, kind of not. Yeah. And then I did a post. Uh, my cousin got me a t-shirt that said best gay cousin ever. And I literally Legendary just post. posted that. <laughs> and that was that. And then I uh, went on Fallon about a month later and told the world that I had a girlfriend on our one month anniversary. And Jimmy Aww. Fallon was like, <laughs> well. yeah, she was like, let's do a dance battle. I'm, like, I'm gay. <laughs> I love him. He's the best. That's so, thank you for sharing all of that. It's a fun story. I really appreciate it. 
Listener, one of the best ways to support this podcast is to come see me live, okay? It, it's a really great way to just support the whole team and everything that we do here. So get on my text list or my email list. It's international, both of them. AshleyGavin.com. Go sign up, and I'll literally text you when I'm in your area. So you don't have to hear all these plugs. You can skip right by them. Don't even worry about your city. Just get on one of those two things, and I will let you know, okay? Because there's a lot of cities coming, and I just remaking this announcement over and over again. We all think it's annoying. You do. I do. Get on the text list, you piece of shit. Maddie has a sharing corner. <gasps> I also Fun. came out on Jimmy Fallon, and... Uh, <laughs> Sort of a worldwide phenomenon when I, <laughs> I don't know, I sat down Johnny Carson and I was like, I'm a little bit of a boy. Uh, no, I, <laughs> a little bit, we did. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Little taste. Actually, this was reminding me, this wasn't, wasn't the story I was going to tell, but I did remember how I came out as a gender in middle school, which isn't. This a, is, these are the photos that I'm talking about from this period of your life. Where... I can like maybe send them to Alec or see if we can get them in the, because there are yes. some photos where you're like. I had a real, I was really, I it, came out so as queer. Bad. And then I sort of, <laughs> <laughs> they're bad. Okay, at one point my they're hair was so like. so bad, they're good. They're just, get, you're just, yeah. It was my you're friend, queer, sorry. like my mom dropped me off at my friend's house and I was like, okay, bye. And then I came back, my friend had shaved all three sides of my head and I had like oh, a blue yes. quaff down the yes. front. And I remember I came out as a gender and I just posted a picture of like this perfectly round cat floating on a pond. Wait, pause really quick. What does a gender mean? A gender just meant like I didn't feel like I had a gender. Okay. Like okay, without, okay. like outside of that. Got it. Because cisgender is like. Yeah. It's like what you were assigned at birth. Yes. Got and it. A gender, I just didn't really feel like a boy or a yep, girl. Yep. I just kind of felt like outside. Non binary. Yeah, totally. Because right, right. I don't know that a gender is the word I would use now, but it was like all kind of at under the, the same umbrella. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like non binary is maybe more blankety than a gender. Yeah. A gender feel all of these terms are really hard to dissect because we live in a world with a language and you know a it's confusing but frankly yeah. i think sometimes they mean different things to different people and too. yeah like yeah, i think totally. it's such a personal because it's so yeah. it's also so new i just never heard that term before and so i wanted to make sure that i was following yeah on oh. the proper yeah. You're also channel. so sweet. You changed gay to queer. I can't tell you how many times I just call Maddie gay. <laughs> well, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize for a minute like that there is a difference. Like, you oh, know what for I mean? Sure. And like, it's it's crazy. Like, because I, I've always just been like, yeah, whatever. I'm gay because it's just the easiest thing to say. But yes, like, yeah. Uh, I, and I learned this with Molly and Jekka. Um, they taught me like, no, queer is something that's different. And like, when you are queer, you want to feel queer you don't feel gay and i was like oh well then hell yeah let, like queer you know what i mean for sure but this is also a comedy podcast so <laughs> when i call when i call maddie gay it's a term of uh belittling endearment <laughs> of course just yeah. like a little sweet little, and also i do think as much as i love the labels and i and i agree with what you're saying i think just like to have one unifying we just have one quick word legibitiqua <laughs> have you heard of that <laughs> but you know what i that, that, it's lgbtqia no i know i've never i've literally <laughs> never heard anyone say that um it's so funny when it's like in sweet life zach and cody when she calls it the prindle yes <laughs> you print? old bitch <laughs> <laughs> grandma what was like talk about the 17 year olds again what was like the famous <laughs> disney channel show when you were a kid oh that's a good question oh wow honestly like disney wasn't around so here's the thing <laughs> He like, well, he was drawing stop they, motion animation. That's, <laughs> that's the thing is that they didn't move to live action until I was too old to enjoy it. Are you oh, actually serious? Hannah Montana was really. Because we like, were doing a bit, but you're like fully. We're like, there's no <laughs> yeah, no, there was no show that was like a live action a phenomenon hit. hit when I was growing up. It was all cartoons. So what all. did you watch? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Rugrats. The, N Disney was like kind of behind Nickelodeon at that point. I'm old, guys. I'm old. We cave paintings. What do you want me to say? Yeah, you're a decade older than me. Yeah, I'm a, a full decade older. That's than wild. You. Yeah, you're two decades older than me. Almost. I don't like this. Shit. I don't. Whatever this is, I don't like it. Okay, I'm wearing I, a backwards hat and I have beautiful skin. Okay, you do, and you I get a lot of pussy. Okay, I get so much pussy. I thought you were like 27. 
Thank you so much. For what it's worth. <laughs> I know I look very young. Yeah. And I keep the hat on for a reason. I look like shit. And it kind of balances <laughs> out. <laughs> out <laughs> of but you have such, you do have such like wise energy. Oh, I will thank say. You. Yes. Like you do not That's feel really 24. Nice. You feel at least 65. <laughs> Very I mature. have an old Bernie Sanders You're in my an heart. Old soul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Um, oh, I was a big Hannah Montana kid though. I remember, yeah. oh my God, I remember How going old is to Smiley. How old? Yeah. She's older than me. She is 28, 29. That makes sense because goodness. it was really more my sister and a little bit younger that yeah. First... How old is Miley Cyrus? <laughs> hey Google. Fake fan, 30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went to a Hannah Montana concert when I was in third grade and oh. the Jonas Brothers were opening for her. So good. And Nick Jonas did a backflip off of the piano and I was like, swoon. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, <laughs> backflip into my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it was, there was like really good pictures of me at the Hannah Montana concert and then it gets very gay from there. Yeah, then it gets like the dyed hair <laughs> pictures. I was dressing like very butch in middle school. Yeah. Like it was a lot of, I mean, honestly, it was probably this flannel that I stole from my dad. Oh, that's another thing I would do. Wow. Well, okay. I was gonna, I was originally going to tell a story about this guy that I had a crush on and like the first person I ever really flirted with and getting, I think it's problematic, the term, but friend zoned, whatever. Oof. Why do you think that's a problematic term? Because it, it feels incelly to me. It feels like entitled, you know what I yeah. mean? Where it's like, a friend zone sounds like a rad place to be. <laughs> Let's hang out in the friend zone, it's dude. It's not. <laughs> it sucks. I, I hear what you're saying, but I think that's people taking a perfectly benign term. I'm just adding an asterisk to be like, I know and I don't mean it that way. Everyone knows you're not a typical incel. <laughs> you're not like the other incels, Maddie. I'm not a <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's, because it's not. You know why? Because it's not involuntary. It's yeah, you could voluntary. get it. Anytime. I think I you actually could get could. It now. I need to be the hall monitor. <laughs> Keep you two on track. You're out of a job. I'm here now. Go on, incel. Go okay. On. So, so should, I, should I tell that story, or do you want to hear about my butch phase in middle school? Either one. Whatever you want. Okay. I butch phase in middle school. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As, I, it's it is a very visual story, I'm but I'm going to try to think of like the main highlights. One was that the shaving my hair, dyeing it blue, and then I would wear like my dad's flannel t-shirts. That was like a big phase. And then my friends and I also went through a phase of like, we bought like analog film cameras and we were like, we're gonna, I mean, it's like so <laughs> cringe, dude. It's all right. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. Let it out, Watermelon. Daddy. Watermelon, bless you, bless you, bless you. Wait, what is watermelon? I don't know what watermelon is. If you say watermelon to somebody when they're about to sneeze, they won't sneeze and it really frustrates them. It works. Because like, fuck. Like, every time. Every time. Huh. huh. Bonus points if you can take their chin and put it up in the sky because then they really won't sneeze. It's impossible. Dang. Well, I actually didn't sneeze the second time. I'm going to grab your face the next time. <laughs> chin to the sky. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out if you kiss someone, like your world depends on it, they won't sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out if you absolutely fuck the shit out of someone, <laughs> Spit in their mouths and make them sneeze. call you daddy. They'll stop sneezing. <laughs> it would be insane if they didn't. You did that to someone and they were like, Imagine, <laughs> Imagine all that happens and then they're just, <laughs> <laughs> But, boop, oh, you. thank you. The cringe thing was we went through this like hipstery analog film cameras and we would go take like, like I was a really big like Tumblr kid. And we would go like stand on the train tracks and I would have like my flannel and my army jacket and like my dyed yeah, red hair. Yeah. I love the visual. Oh yeah. my God, dude. That's like, I'll, ha I'll have to dig up some of those photos. But that was like a phase where it's like, I should have known. And everybody in our school thought we were gay. Okay, so here's what's funny. Everyone, everybody else knew you didn't. Everybody else knew. Everybody everyone else knew. was calling me gay. Our whole friend group at the same time in middle school all chopped off our hair dyed our hair, started dressing like different. Are they queer now? Everyone came out as queer. Yeah. Uh, a couple of people didn't, but everyone else is either like gender queer, trans, non-binary or gay or a combination of all Isn't of them. Isn't it crazy how like you all found each other back in the day it's, before you even knew? Yes. Yes. Like, and you're that's like, fascinating. My we, friends too. Uh, yeah. My, my friend Daniela, she's married to a woman. My friend Suzanne is married to a woman. And it's like, how did you just like, have that connection. I just had that with another Nickelodeon kid at the time. I was never That's friends wild. with any Nickelodeon kids. I was never, we were never friends because I never had a show. And so like, I was always the outsider and they were 
really nice to me, but there was one girl who was nice to me and like we had a lot of fun together. We traveled together, like we had a ton of fun together. And I literally found out yesterday that she's gay. And I was like, what the fuck? You're not straight? When did this happen? And she's yeah. like, don't know, man, but I'm definitely not straight. And I was like, whoa, like it just blows my mind that like you I just know. find those like and you don't even know that. That's like kind of a pro tip for anyone who is younger and somehow got here and shouldn't be here. But maybe yeah. the people around you might also be gay. Just FYI. Yeah. Yeah. I have this is a really funny moment with a friend of mine who lives in New York now who's same thing. We were good friends in middle school. Both thought we were straight, got older, became friends again. And we're like, oh, both so queer. And they were like, yeah, there was something about you. Little trans, little s- and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, either way, I'm not going to be using your name in a few years, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> little trans, little s- <laughs> awful. That's, a, that's I'm sorry. A, no, we cut that. That's like too dark. No, 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 no. It's a comedy <laughs> podcast. We no, touch on everything. I think the and only they know, way they to know. get through life is to laugh about the darkest things because totally. sun, the sun will come out tomorrow. But a little, if you laugh in the face of it, it's like not as scary. Little trans, yeah. little s- is probably the name of someone on my Discord. <laughs> <laughs> that and, might be my uh, first album name, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a song. my favorite punk band. <laughs> um, but uh, therapy, very important. Okay, guys, yeah. therapy. And we'll put some resources in the description. Oh, amazing! Yeah, and I'm on meds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got it under control. <laughs> I'm still so, I'm on meds for the trans thing. No, I'm have, kidding. I, <laughs> one of my first TikToks that I ever saw of uh, Chris Olsen, who I love and adore, was he's great. He's awesome. Um, was this one TikTok where he's like, "Is anybody else depressed?" But like, fine, because like I'm depressed, <laughs> but I'm fine. And I'm like, I will. <laughs> I will say when I was depressed and fine, and then I got not depressed. I was like. I was not, not fine. fine no. yep. I was yep. not fine. Yep. I just had that recently. I sorted out my meds and I was like, oh, that was mental illness. <laughs> like life's actually pretty easy and fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, with your story, are we just naming butch things about you in middle school? <laughs> I guess Which I is- just roasted myself. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't really a plot Maddie, to Maddie, that's totally fine. I just want to make sure that I'm guiding the conversation correctly so yes, that JoJo no, doesn't have, not, have to do it. We have not missed thank anything. You. <laughs> well, what a, what, thank you for sharing. Oh, thanks for thanks for letting me go down memory lane. This I is a really good. I, could you grab your phone and find a picture? I will. I'll just so we can have in. some of JoJo's reactions. Oh, absolutely. Wait, yes, Because I know you've got them. This is the phase on like the My Chemical Romance section of oh the Butch god. phase. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh my god. I love them. Oh my god. Oh my god. How old were you? This is probably Oh my god, I was probably a freshman in high school, so, like maybe like 14 or 15. For Maddie, That's I have everything. I have uh, Can we talk I about have... the balls to be able to do that though? Cuz how old are you now? I'm 24. Okay, so I would actually say her or their brain not being fully developed probably led to <laughs> probably yeah. the hair dye. But yeah. 10 years ago, that wasn't fucking easy to do. Like I have a cousin right now who is kind of in that They same... won't be a cousin later, but right now they are. A <laughs> no, no, no. no I've got a temporary cousin. T- temporary cousin. No, no, no. I have a cousin <laughs> who is kind of in that sort of a situation where, you know, they we're born one way, but feel another way. And I, I'm going to be very careful about how I talk about them because I don't know what they're okay with and not okay with. But it's really cool to see that, like, you were okay to be that. You know what it's I mean? It's actually amazing because Maddie, um, way before any of this language, like, you were so in touch with your gender at clearly yeah. such a young age. Before it was really... No, it kind of helped me with like my imposter syndrome sometimes, too. And I'm like, no, no. Before I had the language, I knew it was there, which is how I know that it's real, real. Real. You know what I mean? Because I remember like going online and like trying to Google stuff and trying to find terms and finding like I found a lot of like YouTubers who were like really helpful in like learning about it. And yeah. But but it also it also resulted in some bad haircuts. Whatever, <laughs> and then, it still does. It's okay. And if you're yeah, out I, there, listener, if you if you've ended up in a gender questioning bad haircut situation, you can recover. Just buy hats. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hats. Any others? Do you want to see one more? Yeah. Okay, let's see yeah. one more. Of course. And then we'll wrap. Okay. I'm trying to find this. What's your type? My type: masculine, kind. Oh, well. oh. <laughs> that's so sweet and older you like older older yeah yeah because yeah. i'm i was what's of, older to you 25 okay <laughs> but for a 19 year old yeah yeah, yeah, 25 25 old, yeah, yeah 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 um but 
I've I've dated I've dated a little younger, very close in age, nine months apart. I've dated four years older, three years older, three years, three, three, four years older. Um, but there's such a gap because when I was nine, I was expected to work and act as if I was 18. Mm. So now that I'm 19, it's I'm in a mental space of a 29 year old. You know what I mean? So like me dating another 19 year old, like it it's there's a very big maturity difference in just my life experience and a normal 19 year old is like and I'm the odd man out you know what I mean like because I've noticed that like oh all these people are the same I don't fit in can I before we show the picture can I ask you a question you do not have to we can deflect we can edit it out whatever Great. Do you, because you, Give me the gay older you sister. are, <laughs> this is I uh, maybe too deep, but one thing that I wonder about is you are forced to grow up uh, doing what you do in a way of course. that I think maybe kids, you know, I lost my dad when I was 11. I very much became like the parent of my mm-hmm. household um, in, uh, in an emotional capacity. Yeah. Um, so I, I understand that. And I, I don't know that everyone really understands what you mean by that, but I, I do. do, Mm -hmm. And I believe you, what ways do you think like you, there is a gap in your experience? Because I also know on the flip side, having met people who've worked at a very young age, there's a gap there too. Yeah. Where do you feel like you wish you had time to fill in that some of that? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm I'm a little confused. Like, what parts of my childhood did I miss out on? Are that you- you're feeling like when you go into a situation, you're like, oh, I'm not skilled in this way, or I don't have this thing, or I don't know how to do this. Got it. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, if you don't want to answer that, that's fine. No, 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 no. I'll answer it. I'll answer it. I think for me, I get put in a position where like people my age will want to do things that I am like, I can't do that because either of who I am or because of like like security wise like of who I am like I can't do that or like mental age wise I'm like no I don't want to fucking do that like you know what I mean like but it's something that most other people my age would find enjoyment in and I think it stems from a lot of times people my age are just fresh out of their house they're freshly moved I live at home. My parents live with me. Like, I love it. We have a great relationship. And so I think I I missed out on a lot. Like, and since I started dating, I realized like, oh, this is what high school was. Like, I didn't, I graduated when I was 15, but I was homeschooled. And so like, my life was very different and I wouldn't change it for anything. But like, for example, like most people too, I'll also admit, like, I'm very behind in the world of love because most people go to a freshman dance and they go with a date and then they go to homecoming with a different date and then they go to prom 14 times and then they go to the prom at the other school and then they have a summer fling and then they have their hookup in the car in the school parking lot. You know what I mean? Like, I never had any of that. You know what I mean? And so there's a lot of like, mm, what's this? You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like a lot of times I'm like an eighth grader in love land. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. But then at the same time, there's like the like, no, but I'm 28. Like, yeah. How do I manage being both? Yeah. Does that kind of answer it? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Because I've never gotten to actually know someone with that experience like very closely, mm-hmm. but I've always been like fascinated. It's by wacky. That. Yeah. It's really wacky. It's weird. It's confusing. It's hard for me. It's hard for the person that I'm dating or talking to because like, I can't do things. You know what I mean? Like how most people can go on a dinner date. I can't go on a dinner date normally. You know what I mean? Like I can, but I have to call and say, I'm in Georgia. See what can I have a private table in a private room? And it's great. You know what I mean? But then you have to know that like, you're not, but you can't just go. Can't just go. And like, I also can't, there's freedom in that. There's freedom in that. And also any time that I'm away from my house. So like, since this is about gay sex, I've only had, sex in the privacy of my own room besides your dad room. calling in besides my dad calling in um but in my own room or my own hotel room like i i mean i'm i don't know really what normal teenagers do but i'm assuming that it happens a car a park a bathroom know, stall yeah, like yeah. Wh- whatever you know what i mean but like because of who i am like i can't do that um but uh, sorry i derailed there for a second no 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 um i try to Try to keep it. I try to keep it. My my parents try to keep me 
normal as normal can be. Speaking of normal, can you show us one of your not normal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Speaking of not grounded, do you want to see the most unhinged thing you've ever seen in your life? I'm so excited. Honestly, though, thank you for sharing. Thank oh you. Oh my that gosh, was, that was incredible. Of course, thank that was you. Really fun. Okay, I'm are like you an ready? Open book. I was going to tell you, like, I'm an open book. Like, this could turn into a problem, but uh, we're good. We, I didn't get too open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah. Well, we can cut that sincerity by making <laughs> this is the final Pokemon Butch Please Gay give Maddie. It to us, give it to us. <laughs> is this not the funniest fucking thing you've ever seen in your goddamn life? And for a while, Maddie was like, I don't know. Am I non binary? Am I non binary? <laughs> am, am I non binary? How long have you two known each other? Maybe Honestly, two years. Okay. but we've really only gotten to know each other on on. You didn't this... know that. No, 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 no. <laughs> them. You did not know. No, them. Maddie is the first co-host that I brought on, pretty much as an unknown to me. Yeah, we really like it's every getting getting to know each other has happened on the air on the podcast. Yeah, 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 and at that diner that I, I cried at. Adore. Yeah. <laughs> so when you when you w were that age. What did you go by? Did you go by she? Did you go by them? Did you go by he? Did you go by your real name? Like what? Yeah, I went by they, them. And then for a second, okay, so I'm Jewish. And for a second, I was like, Shmuley. Have I told you this? I went what? by Shmuley for a second. And then I decided that <laughs> was not going to stick. at their name? <laughs> you went with your non by your name. I was Shmuley Weeder. Like your Shmuley. name was Shmuley. <laughs> <laughs> like a guy I meet at B&H. <laughs> Shmooly, Shmooly. That's such a New York City joke. I love it. Did you get that? Okay. <laughs> but I was having a real, I was like, well, I was like connecting more to my Jewish roots. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Shmooly. But it wasn't like a bit. I was genuinely, I was like, I was like oh. getting more into Judaism. And then I was like, well, I'm also non-binary. Shmooly seems perfect. Yeah. I should not last that long. But I was briefly Shmooly. I've never heard Shmooly as a name. Is that a guy's name? Yeah. It's like a Hebrew guy's name, I think. You picked the Jewish fucking name, dude. <laughs> Shmooly? Shmooly. Oh, Shmooly Wiener. I'm calling you Shmooly on the pod. <laughs> That's your new name. Shmooly Wiener. I'm down with Shmooly. I Sh think it fits Shmooly sounds like a description for your a wiener. A like disease. <laughs> shmooly. You know, How was it? He has like a Shmooly sh Wiener. Kind of shmooly. You know what I mean? <laughs> kind of a Shmooly vibe to it. Yeah, he wasn't circumcised. It was like Shmooly. It was oh. Shmooly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this was an awesome episode. Thank what you. What are you Thank working you on? I, I feel so stupid. God, even. everything. No, no, no. You're not at all. I um, I'm doing a movie coming up called All My Friends Are Dead that I'm very excited about. I uh, I have a lot That's of great. music what, coming what out. What will it be on? Yes. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, I, cool. I've heard theaters. I've heard theaters, but I don't know if that's finalized. So don't hold me to it. Um, ton of music coming out. I've had so much music coming out. I'm very, very excited. I've been working very hard on it. Um, so many things. There's just there's a lot of secrets. Um, I have a few TV shows that I'm very excited about that I actually just got really good news on today. Um, That's awesome! Congratulations! Thank you. Very excited. Uh, yeah, I think the the movie and the music is like my top two right now. That's awesome! Congratulations! Thank, and thank you. you so much for doing this. This is Dude, a, uh, kind anytime. of a dream come true. Truly Y'all were the come freaking true. best. I enjoyed so much talking to you. Thank you for having me. Do you do pods a lot? Um, yeah, yeah. I only do them if they feel like it's going to be like this, where it's like a chill, like, yeah. I mean, obviously we didn't know each other, but I was like, we'll connect very fast because podcasts feel like very friendly, you know what yeah. I mean? Mm. And so like I've done this one, I've done Megan Trainers. I've done. I didn't know she had a podcast. Yeah, yeah. She That's has cool. one. Um, Just a few here and there. I'm thinking my mom had one for a minute. I did hers a bunch. <laughs> um. Ryan Seacrest, a minute. Um, Elk Johns, his was fun. Yeah, just like that's awesome. Elton like, John. like the chill one. Wow. Oh yeah, he's the best. That's insane. <laughs> Fucking best human. On that note, King I'm Day. gonna go uh, just contemplate what I've done with my life. <laughs> <laughs> You've done amazing, Sir Elton with your John. Life. Thanks for tuning in to watch <laughs> JoJo specifically. We uh, love Elton John. AshleyGavin.com for my tornado. Sign up for my text alert. Uh, Maddie T. Wiener on Instagram. Comedy taping coming out soon. Should be a good time. Jojo, will you tell everyone to watch my fucking special? Watch her special. Please. Absolutely. Right now. Thanks for listening, guys. Patreon.com slash WHGS to support.
we're a little over three years old now, this podcast. So this is my gay thought today. And I'm probably going to cry. But I don't care. I'm just going to try and use this time to reflect. I started this podcast because I didn't have an agent. (laughs) And I was really tired of being so good at comedy, but kind of just spinning my wheels. And I thought, oh, a lot of people will start a podcast and sometimes they go viral. So that's why I started the podcast. Today I met a young lady at one of my shows who is terminally ill. And she told me that it was on her bucket list to come to a show. So I went to dinner with her after the show uh, that she came to. And it happens to be the anniversary of my father having passed away. Life is such a short, precious thing. And I've been really caught up and kind of aware that so many of the things that I've wanted for my life have happened because of this podcast. And I'm meeting some of the people like JoJo that I've, you know, always wanted to meet. Really incredible, fascinating people. But through a layer of being overworked and very, very tired. And, you know, it's it's hard to enjoy sometimes what's right in front of you because you're so busy or whatever. So I'm taking this gay thought for me to reflect on that. But now to just spin it back out to you, I don't know how many of you are at a point where you know something has to be different for you to, really have the life that you want. And maybe that's coming out. That's sort of the one thought that I had in my brain. Maybe it's coming out. Maybe it's transitioning in whatever way that means to you. Maybe it's just as simple as telling someone how you feel about them. But for me, I was spinning my wheels for a long time before I created the podcast and a little bit spinning my wheels in another way right now. I don't know if I've been coherent in this gay thought, but I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're trying to do something, do it. (laughs) And then when it's done, enjoy it. I didn't know that I would ever be able to connect with someone through my work that I would be on a bucket list. But I know that now that I'm accomplishing some of my bucket list things, I need to appreciate them a little bit more. So I hope this is a call to action to any of you to do the thing that you need to do. Or if you've done it, to have gratitude and pat yourself on the back and let yourself enjoy it. And this might be the gayest thing I've ever said. Have a good week. Oh, my fucking special is on YouTube. Go watch it, you piece of shit.